Thanks for stopping by Unusual Facts. We appreciate that you watch these videos and leave your comments below and subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video filled with unusual facts. Amazing schools all around the world and some of the most interesting features they offer. Let's get started in this Swedish school where there are no walls. Students study in groups according to their interests in different thematic areas. There's no boring classrooms, just spacious areas to study. Multifunctional learning spaces, col colorful interiors, and small niches for concentration and contemplation. Roseanne Bosch Studio is created with an interior designed with flexible environments to support a variety of different learning situations. The design supports the school's pedagogical methods and plays an important role in the daily circle of the school. Vitra Brotorp has been equipped with flexible learning spaces, inviting gathering places and small niches for concentration and contemplation. Teachers are given the opportunity to provide information to large groups after which the students can work on assignments individually or in small groups in the customized interior. In that way, the design leads the school's educational ideals into practice. The different areas of this school are divided with partitions of unusual design. This amazing school is from the Swedish free school organization, Vitra. Instead of a classic classroom setup with desks and chairs, a giant iceberg with a cinema, a platform, and room for relaxation and recreation now forms the setting of many different types of learning situations. Designed by Copenhagen-based studio Rosenbosch, the school's interior was designed to revolve around Vitra's educational principles and serves as an educational tool for development through everyday activities. Vitra puts a high priority on developing new methods for teaching and interaction as a basis for educational development. When the new Vitra School telephone plan was established in Stockholm, Rosen Bosch created the school's interior design, including space distribution and distinctive, custom-designed furnishings. The interior design revolves around Vitra's educational principles and serves as an educational tool for development throughout everyday activities. Vitra puts a high priority on developing new methods for teaching and interaction as a basis for educational development. Instead of conventional classroom approach, the students are taught in groups adjusted to their achievement level based on the school's educational principles about the watering hole, the show-off, the cave, the campfire, and the laboratory. Vitra Brotorp has individually designed sections for three different age groups. A custom-designed library and multicolored podium are among the conspicuous design elements. In the preschool area, a large green structure occupies the space creating a multifunctional landscape for play and exploration. The structure is built in the children's height and they will find comfort in the small pockets and niches, while at the same time adults can have an overview of the entire room. Green Bench in connection with the establishment of a new Vitra school in Stockholm telephone plan, Rosenbosch LTD has created the school's interior with spatial divisions and significant custom designs. Vitra telephone plan. How do you create a school without any walls? In the 30 schools of the Swedish free school organization, Vitra, there are no classes or classrooms. Instead, the students are taught in groups according to level-based on the school's pedagogical principles of the watering hole, the show-off, the cave, the campfire, and the laboratory. Didactic approaches that create different types of learning and teaching solutions. This Chinese school is very small, but that is not a reason to not install its own stadium. Well, they have everything they need to exercise. Exercises on the patio. The project for the Tian Tai No. 2 Primary School strives for a unique design that will serve as a model school which provides a beautiful environment for the cultivation of knowledge, culture, physical fitness, art, and ethics for elementary school children. The project effectively solving the problem of land shortage in the old city. 
The 200-meter running track calls for 40% of the land if we were to put this on a playground, on the ground, as is normal. Then space on the campus would be very cramped. At the same time, it's necessary to ensure students have a playground, that they can have sports and activities. With land scarce, the 200-meter running track was projected onto the roof level, giving an additional 3,000 square meters of usable area on the ground as well as the oval shape of the school building, creating a sense of inwardness and security for the students. Lifting the running track also allows for a total project height of four floors instead of five, as originally required, creating a more harmonious relationship between the new school and the surrounding urban context. Students Behind Bars in Wuhan, China No, it's not an instrument of torture. These are metal bars that prevent children from getting too close. These are metal bars that prevent children from letting their faces get too close to their notebooks as they read or write. It's an idea that was put into place to protect the eyes of children. Myopia is a topical problem in China. About 41% of children need glasses in primary school. There you have it, another video filled with unusual facts. We're sure you learned something new today. Wouldn't you love to learn in one of these spaces? Did your school have anything interesting like these schools do? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching this video all the way to the end. Please subscribe so you never miss another video filled with unusual